Hello, my name is John Skippy Limcool. Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. Hey, this is a short little video on permissions. Um, some of you are trying to install the Unify update. Small percentage, but a, a, enough that I want to make a video so that this is documented. When you download Unify update, it's a single file. We don't have two files anymore. We just put both things you need to do. There's two steps in the same folder. So as you can see, because the folder says update, I know this is just the updater. It doesn't install the whole library. So if you have Unify, whatever version, installed, working, sounding great, then run the install Unify, go through the process of installing, and then run the standalone version of Unify. And once you have that up and running, inside of this folder, you'll see the Unify 1.2 update.guru file. That's the updated patches and settings that you need to get this to work. Which is wave sequencing. So drag this over Unify and what has happened to some of you is when you go here and say, OK, you get an error message to pop up that says error unpacking file. And that makes us sad. Sorry about that. But it would appear that there's a permissions problem with Unify's access to its folders. If it doesn't have permission, then it can't write the files. That's why it says permission denied. It asked the computer's OS, hey, I want to do this. And it said, you don't have permission to do that. So we're going to fix that. So all you need to do is go over to the gear icon in the bottom right corner, click that. And right here it says data folder. And over here, you can see the location on the hard drive. And this is on my main hard drive and my users shared. There's a plugin guru folder. That's the standard normal location that we install Unify. If you go over here and you say open, right click at the top, get to the shared folder so that you can go to the plugin guru folder. So up here under file, you can either type in command I or here's get info, which will pop up a little info screen about this folder. And permissions are down here or privileged as they call it. Now, if you don't see read and write, I would suggest clicking the little access thing, typing in your passcode. And then right here, you could say, hold down and set it to read and write and read and write and read and write. And then you say, apply to enclosed items under this little gear icon. And that will apply the permission settings to every file in that folder. Now we have permission when you go back here and you open this up. And if this is closed, then you can drag this over, say, okay. And it will install all the new data. And then you have working. Okay. So we'll be getting now into more detail related to the update, new capabilities we can do so forth um, after this video. But we've had a couple of these issues that I thought would be helpful to have videos for both for right now for certain customers and also for future. So thanks for watching. See you later.